Welcome to Agile and AddonsModules.com. Agile and AddonsModules.com are developers of a wide range of modules and add-ons for the PrestaShop shopping cart system. This tutorial will show the store administrator the process for sellers to register or add products to the store in the Agile Multiple Seller Module. This can be done through the seller's account page in the front office or in the back office of the store. We will also show you how, as a store admin, you can add products for a seller in the back office. This video is a continuation from part one of this tutorial and assumes you have completed part one. If you have not yet viewed part one of this tutorial, please do so before continuing with part two. This section begins where part one ended with our seller now creating products through their back office. We begin this section of the tutorial already on the My Seller Account screen. On this screen you will see the option Please click here to access your seller account at back office. Click this option now. What the seller sees on this screen is entirely dependent on the permissions the store admin has given the Agile Multiple Seller Profile. This screen shows the default options with default permissions. To enter products from the back office as a seller, hover over or click on the Catalog tab, then click the Products option. Here the seller will see a list of all currently registered products for their profile. Click the Add New button in the top right corner of the screen. On this screen, rather than a drop-down for the steps required for product registration as seen in the front office, you will now see a list of options on the left of your screen. The first screen you see is the information screen where you will enter all basic product information similar to the information screen we saw in the front office section. The main difference being the top two sections of the screen. The listing approved checkbox, which will be checked if product approval is not required, and unchecked if product approval is required by the store administrator. And the type of product, which can be a single item product, a product pack, or a virtual product. A virtual product, again, is one which can be downloaded from the store as opposed to a physical product which must be shipped. And again, the description of the screens and data entry for all options on the left are discussed in the PrestaShop documentation and will not be covered again in this tutorial. It should also be noted at this time that you or the seller may see additional product options on this screen, depending on any additional modules that may be installed in your store. For instance, the Agile Product Listings Options module will create additional options that will be shown here when creating a product. After entering all information on this screen, you may click the Save and Stay button to save the contents of the current screen and continue configuring other options, or simply click the Save button to return to the product list page now. In the next section of this tutorial, we will show you how to register a new product for a specific seller as admin and assign that product to the seller. This is usually done for support purposes. To begin this section of the tutorial, we will start already logged into the back office as administrator and viewing the dashboard screen. To add a product for a seller, Hover over or click on the Catalog tab, then click the Products option. 
You will now see a screen with a list of all products contained in the store regardless of what seller they belong to. Click the Add New button. This screen is identical to the one covered in the section earlier in the tutorial that discussed sellers creating a product from the back office. The primary difference here is that, as administrator, you have the ability to assign this product to a seller by clicking the seller drop-down box and choosing a seller from the list. And, as admin, you can approve the listing at the time of registration by clicking on the Listing Approved checkbox. Other than these two items, the rest of the product registration is exactly the same as for the seller. And again, see the PrestaShop documentation for all product options listed in the left column. Click Save when finished. As administrator, you also have the ability to assign products to sellers or approve products in batch mode. To assign multiple products to a seller, we start logged into the back office as administrator at the dashboard screen. Hover over or click on the Catalog tab, then click the Products option. In the product list, you will see a checkbox available to the left of each product. After checking all products you wish to assign to a seller, you can choose the appropriate seller from the drop-down box at the bottom, then click the Assign to Seller button. All products that were checked are now assigned to that seller. To approve products in bulk, hover over or click on the Catalog tab, then click the Bulk Approval option. This page will only show products which have not yet been approved. Again, you will see a checkbox to the left of each item in the list. To approve multiple products, simply check the box for each item or check the box in the header to select all products in the list. Then click the Approve Selection button at the bottom of the list. All checked products will now be approved. This concludes the product registration tutorial for registering products in PrestaShop while using the Agile Multiple Seller Module. See you in the next video. And thanks for choosing Agile and AddonsModules.com.